everybody, it's Christine, and today is Mix It Up Monday with Peace Craft Love. It's a hop, so please make sure you check all the links out below. This is the sketch. It is by Kimberly over I'd Rather Be Scrapbooking. Um, she's also one of my little co-hoppers on Scraplift Sunday, or no, excuse me, Scraplift Crafternoon. It's, I think it's on Sunday, that's why I'm saying that. So, um, this was her sketch. So, um, I'm seeing like flowers, you know, along the, it's, it's a, obviously a 12 by 12, there's flowers, there's at least two, I guess I could go with three pattern papers here with a photo, little cluster here, and then a couple little fishtail banners, um, title going over there. And what I'm thinking is, um, first off, I want to, I think I'm going to use this collection, which is Echo Parks Salutations. Um, it actually is kind of good for cards and things, but I like the B-sides. They're so pretty. The pastels, they're really pretty. So I'm going to use that. And then I drug out my, I shouldn't say drug out. It's hanging on my wall over here. But anyways, I pulled it out. Heartfelt Creations, because of the flowers, I started to fussy cut and then I decided I was too lazy. I literally cut two flowers and went, nope, I'm too lazy. <laughs> so I said, you know what? I've got this stamp set up there and I never pull it out. Plus it is Mix It Up Monday and you're supposed to do like a, take the sketch and then do some kind of mixed media or, you know, some kind of, like do something extra from a media perspective. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to stamp and I think I'm going to color maybe with my Copics. I haven't done that in a really long time. So I'm going to try to not be too precious about it and all the things. But anyway, so I pull out my little Misty. I got my heartfelt creations here because I do have a die. So I'm a little spoiled in that way. I don't have to fussy cut them. That's what I don't want to do. And then my picture, I need to trim it yet still. And it's a little bit small, so I may have to like mat it a bunch. It's just me and in, in our nutrition club, and I'm thinking I'm looking all cute. So I figured, why not? I sent it to my husband. I was like, oh, I love you, whatever. And so that's my thing. So that's my goal. So the first thing I want to do is the stamping part. Um, I may color a little bit on camera. I don't know uh, if that's really worth your time or not. So I'll think about that. And then once I start kind of, of course, putting the, the layout together, I'll, I'll film that as well. But let me do a little bit of filming of the stamping just so you can see how that goes. Oh, and I have my, oh y'all, what I do with it? I just had it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my Memento ink because that's what you use with your, your Copic markers. So actually, what did I do with that, y'all? Hang on. Don't go anywhere. I promise I'll be right back. I have a big old, oh, here it is. I have a big old uh, toolbox. Anyway, this is what you use um, for your Copic coloring. So I will stamp that. I will color that. And, well, yeah, I'll color it and then I'll cut it. That's what I do. It's been a while since I've done that particular process, y'all. So I'm kind of happy I'm pulling it back out. Anyway, talk soon. Okie doke, so I have my stamps here on my Misty, and I've got my, I took it just basically eight and a half by 11 sheet of white smooth cardstock, and I've got that on, I cut them in half, so they were just, you know, basically fit inside there. And I've got this, and I pressed this down. I do have to do it two times, which is one good reason for the Misty. Um, so it goes back right in where it needs to be. I started off, I, I just, I did already four sheets. I didn't sit there and think y'all wanted to see me do that four separate times with the exact same image. So I did that already. And now I'm just showing you a little bit of my coloring. I am not being too precious with this. I do do some shading. So, and what I mean by that is I have a little bit lighter color and then I'm gonna take a little bit darker color and I'll just kind of blend that in. And I do that on all the flowers. And I do that on the leaves with some green. But I'm not going to sit there and make y'all watch that either because I'm not going to suggest that it's fun to watch somebody just set in color. Um, I do color those yellow pieces, and I don't actually end up needing all of those, but that's okay. So I have the dye, which is great. Um, again, as I said, I don't want to fussy cut. I was being lazy, so I have a little dye there. I started to do two leaves on each sheet, and then I got... I decided that was kind of silly because I didn't want to keep changing the spacing of the stamp. So I just did the one sheet there, but I've gone ahead and cut those out. Now what you do... If you want to give them a little bit of dimension, is you flip them over and you squirt the backside with just a little mist of water, and you take like the smooth end of a pen or, or something. There's actually little tools. The I don't think I, I might have one with a big enough ball on it, but it needs to have a bigger for these bigger flowers. It needs a little bit bigger surface. So I had just pulled out this little old, I don't even what that is to be honest with you, but it has kind of a big rounded end on it. So I'm just using that to kind of um, rub inside the flower petals to give them a little dimension. And I do that on all my flower petals. And then when I flipped it over, I did the center. Um, Heartfelt Creations has like YouTube videos and stuff on this, but it's just basically gives a little dimension, gives a little curl because you've dampened it. It makes, and then the car sock kind of 
dries, you know, in the shape. I mean, after you've done mixed media, you know how that works, right? Because your papers will dry a little bit of a curl. Well, it's the same basic concept, only it's with intention here. So I do all of those. I do actually go ahead and glue those together. Um, I'll do a couple, I think, on camera, but I've gone ahead and done most of them. So I've decided to go ahead and start cutting up my papers. That's going to be my background paper. It's just kind of a pretty, I don't know, vine, I guess, or just leaves. Um, the sketch actually almost looked a little bit like it was a white background, but I'm going to just, I love pattern paper, so I'm going to do pattern paper. Now, initially, I cut this to a six by six, and then looking again at the sketch, I realize it's probably not quite long enough. So I go back over there um, and I take that longer piece of the six inch and I cut it into six by seven. Um, I, I just didn't, it looked too square. And when I look at the sketch, I'm like, I think that's a little too square and I didn't really care for that. So I, I cut that just a tad longer. And then I get this other little floral and I'm measuring again. And I, I, you know, I don't know. I just used kind of my eyeball there. And I think I did six by seven or something like that. I'm sorry, I don't remember now, but that seemed like it was something like that. Now, I do end up having to go into my stash, and you can see that little sheet of, like, coral-looking paper on the left over there. It's not a whole sheet. It's a strip, basically. I had to go into my stash. That is from Vintage Coastal. Um, the color went really well, and I had to do that because all the patterns, while beautiful, were all, like, florals, and it was, like, floral on top of floral on top of floral. And, in fact, that plaid there came out of one of my Flavors of the Month kit I just got. Um, it's, like, a springtime collection. And my apologies, I don't remember. It might be Echo Park, I'm not certain. But anyway, the colors just ran well, so I just yanked it out and started to use that for the plaid. That was not in the original collection, but I realized after I started putting it out there, I go, I'm gonna have to have some other patterns. So I had gone to stash diving. So now I'm kind of organizing these flowers, and as I mentioned, I've glued, uh, no, I haven't glued them down yet. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna end up gluing uh, two layers of the flowers together. And right now I'm just kind of making sure like where are they going to kind of lay, how much space do I need, because I need to remember to also put one in the upper left corner. And if I'm not careful, I will forget. <laughs> so I have to set that up there. And then I have these leaves. I really like having these, these little leaves turn out good too. I was pleased with these. I did the same basic technique as well. I dampened the back of the leaf or, and then I, and then I like smoothed the leaf or used my little pen thing either kind of create dimension on that leaf. So I'm just kind of seeing where all this stuff's lying. I'm just basically doing a dry fit here. I do look at my picture, and I, I want to say in the sketch, the picture might have been a little bigger. So I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to end up having to do something a little extra on that, and that's okay. Um, I do end up matting it with a couple of journaling cards. Now for the upper left corner, um, in the sketch, it showed a couple of fishtail banners, and I started off with that white, and I thought that might work. And then I go, nope, I'm going to have to use that coral. It just, the, it, the white was getting a little bit lost. And I knew I needed it to kind of stand out a little bit. And plus, I just thought, okay, I can tie this coral back over there. Um, so I cut these two sheets here, or these two little strips here. I'll end up cutting that fishtail banner. I don't think I put this on camera. I take my white gel pen, and in her sketch, it has like a little stitching in detail looking around the outside. And I go have to, I, I end up deciding to use my white gel pen for that. I have to admit, though, one of my gel pens was just dried up. or it, The ink's in there. I could see it, but it just wouldn't come out. Now you can kind of see them. I've done the little lines around the outside. I've also gone ahead and inked the edges of the papers with my... Uh, Distress Oxide, that smoke colored there. You can see that in the upper right-hand corner. I wanted them to have a little bit of distinction, so I've gone ahead and inked the edges of the papers with that. I started to put that in the video, but frankly, it was just boring. <laughs> I was watching myself do it. I go, nope, that's got to go. That's just way too boring. Nobody wants to watch that, so I deleted it. I laid that strip down there, and then I realized, well, my God, Christine, that was entirely too long, so I had to trim that back just a little bit um, and ink the edges again, or the edge that I just trimmed. So I'm laying that down. This is actually pretty easily, I mean, it's not a real complicated sketch. You just got a few little pieces of paper. Um, I put my picture down there. I've already matted it, I think, at this point. Yeah, I do. I had taken a couple of journaling. You guys might have seen when I flipped over the papers, the A sides of the papers have those sentiment cards and things, and like, basically like a little journaling cards. And I did use two different little journaling cards to create photo mats, and I just offset. So I took like a light green and did the, and kind of offset to the upper left, and then a blue and then offset to the lower right. So it created this kind of double colored mat. I thought about creating a, another one behind all that, but actually I ended up liking how that looked. So now what I'm doing, I've actually already glued all those flowers together, but I am showing you right here um, the last couple. So it's a some kind of little hibiscus. I think the name of the the name of the stamp set's like tropical hibiscus. And when you watch a little tutorial on how they did it, you snip off one of the little 
I don't know what that is. If that's a stamen or something, it has been a long time since I took biology, but I think that's a little stamen or something. Well, you snip off the inner one, and then you glue down your, uh, your smaller piece on top of the larger piece to create like a little double flower. So I've done that. Um, I am showing you, like I said, most, I showed you like a couple there so you could see what I was doing. Now I'm gonna take my green leaves, I'm gonna tuck them in. I think I used glue dots. I'm using glue dots just because um, liquid glue, I thought it would end up shifting around too much and the tape gun I didn't really wanna mess with so I ended up pulling out some glue dots and they work pretty well. I will pull out my liquid glue in a minute though because I'm gonna do something else kind of fancy, y'all. I'm doing this mixed up Monday. I'm doing it all kind of ways. Um, Normally, I just end up like using a stencil and some ink or something. So I got really excited this week and I did all kinds of stuff, coloring with Copics and things. And I'll do, and I'll, like I said, I'll get to it in a minute and I'll show you. But for the moment, I'm just using my glue dots. I'm going to glue my flowers down here. So this picture I mentioned in the beginning is just my daughter and I, we opened a new nutrition club. And obviously, the first couple of days, you're not usually terribly busy because nobody knows you're really there until you get your word out. So we were doing a little mini photo shoot. <laughs> So we had this picture wall and it says treat yourself on the wall um, And we just set the camera down. We used the phone. We were taking a bunch of cute pictures one It was um, I'll probably scrapbook it too because there's one me and my daughter and we're real cute I, I thought it was cute. I said it to my husband. So I'll do that not too far in the future. I'm sure um, But this one's me and I was feeling kind of cute. I don't even have any makeup on which is funny I don't even look that pretty but I didn't mind it too bad. So it looked kind of cute. And I thought, you know, I look opposing is good and all that. So I'll, I'll make myself a little scrapbook layout. Now, I will admit to you, I cut it out. I started off with a little, I'd already, it was pre-made because I'd started using it on a different layout and I didn't use it. And then I didn't use it on this layout actually. But it's some kind of, it's a Coco Chanel phrase and it's like, what's beautiful on the inside is beautiful on the outside or something along those lines. And since it was pre-made, I started to use it. And then that felt a little bit narcissistic. <laughs> I thought, I don't know if I should sit there and call myself beautiful all the time in this thing. So I, I decided to do something different, and you'll see that in a little bit. But anyway, I, I just thought it was kind of a cute picture. So I'm going along, like I said, I'm gluing all these flowers and things down. I might should have cut some of this out because it's taken me just a minute. I have to take my dots are a little bit too big for my little green leaf stems. So I have to curl them, take the dot and kind of curl it like under the leaf a little bit so it's not showing. And this is a, this is an old little glue dot roll. I'm, I need to get back in. I've mentioned this before. I have restocked uh, my ATG tape, and I restocked something else. Oh, my foam tapes, I think. But I hadn't restocked my glue dots, I don't think. I need to get into that and check it, because I've got convention coming up here in June. I need to make me a little shopping list. Although I go through so much, it's hard to make a list this far out, so we'll have to see. I'm definitely getting some hexagon dies, because I have no hexagon dies and I don't have a cricket or anything, and all these sketches call for hexagons all the time. So I need some hexagons. Plus, they look cool. I just, I like them. So, um, okay, I'm finally, finally, finally getting to the bottom of florals here, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my uh, little banners. They're not terribly complicated, obviously. Now, on her sketch, she didn't have anything on top of these little banners, but I will add a few little something-somethings on there. I don't know why, I just felt compelled. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's where I'm going to get real fancy. I take my art glitter glue, and I, well, first off, y'all, do you see how much trouble it took me to get that friggin' little bottle deal open? Well, that's a bunch of little beads. I used to get these things sometimes with some kind of monthly kit, and if I'm honest, I don't remember. It was close to 10 years ago, and so I have several of these, and I decided I'm going to put the yellow beads inside the middle of these flowers because it did look a little bit I think in the tutorial they add like little white something somethings in there. I don't remember what they were, but it seemed like they filled the middle. And I thought, you know, I got these yellow beads. I'm going to fill these centers. So I do squirt a bunch of glue in there and, and dump these beads. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. They don't all stick. And I got to pick the layout up in a minute. And they kind of roll off everywhere. But that gives me another idea. And I'll, you'll see that in a minute. So I'm pretty pleased. Um, I do decide to put my picture up on foam. Honestly, that's not uncommon, so I'm sure you're not even surprised if you've watched me at all because I haven't put a single thing on foam until this very moment. Can you believe it? <laughs> this is the first thing I put any foam on, which is shocking because I usually foam everything. So I got my picture, and I'm going to put it on right there. And I'm looking at that, and I think, okay, that looks kind of cute, but on, I don't know. For some reason, on the right-hand side, I just feel like it's a little naked. Now, here's where in the upper left, I've gone ahead and added a couple little stickers um, I do put that, it's good vibes only, I think is what it says. on. I put that on some foam tape. 
And then I decided on the right-hand side right there, that's where I originally had that little Coco Chanel quote, but I found this other one that said, do more of what you love. And I really think that's a little more appropriate for this picture anyway. Now I did take the sticker because it was a little bit small and it, it, it had that white floral and got a little bit lost. So I stuck it on another journaling card and trimmed it down a little bit and then inked the edges of it. Now she had a title in the upper left corner. And since I, I'm not even really sure I can say I have a title at this point. Um, if I even end up with a title, but maybe like this can be my title. I put Live Simply. I started off with Smile, and I decided, no, I don't really want that. And I found that little Live Simply, and I did like that. And I go, well, okay, well, maybe that's my title then. Now, what happened is when I picked up my um, layout here, them little beads just roll right off. They don't all stick because they didn't all get stuck down in the glue. And then I thought to myself, hey, that could be a little sprinkle. You can use that as a little sprinkle. So I'm going to take the glue, and I'm going to just put little dots here and there. And um, I'm gonna put all my little bee, I'm not all of them. Actually, I don't end up putting all of them because I start getting bored with it. <laughs> Do you ever start with a particular technique or some such and then you realize about three quarters of the way through you're kind of done with it, you don't wanna do it anymore? But it's okay. I thought it looked cute. I mean, I did get enough on there. I don't think it looks stupid. So at least I didn't give up too soon. But um, I just, like I said, start putting that glue down there and I'm kind of looking trying to figure out, okay, do I want a diagonal? Do I want a triangle? How do I want to do this? And I end up kind of deciding that I'm just basically doing a little bit of a diagonal. Um, and it's not real, I mean, it's kind of subtle. It's not like you notice these little beads, like real, they're just not in your face. It's pretty subtle. They're a little real pale yellow. They're real tiny. Um, I will say this stinking little tweezers here, they, uh, they're they hard to get that little bead off of there sometimes with, with the glue. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to stick my finger over there and hold on to it. But anyway, I, I put a little bit of sprinkles up there around that upper left flower. I put a little bit down there in that lower right corner of that little blue journaling, or I guess it's my sticker with my quote. I don't know if, again, I don't know if it's title, what is what it is, but just the little journaling spot. And then I actually put a little bit more in the upper left corner of that little journaling spot. Um, but I'm not going to sit there and make y'all watch every bit of that getting glued down because that's not exactly exciting. But that's really all I do. I thought about sprinkling paint or this or that, but I thought, no, I got them little beads. That's all I really need to do. So I'm going to slow it down and let you guys take a look. Do not forget, there is a ton of people playing. I think it's a ton. I, I believe there's like 20 or something playing with the Mix It Up Monday. So please make sure you check out those links below. And uh, have a good day. We'll talk soon. Bye.